Now to introduce OPNI, which is Rancher's interpretation of applying AI to IT operations. Currently, OPNI features log anomaly detection for Kubernetes. Future releases will include more features such as metric anomaly detection, correlation between metrics and logs, as well as remediation suggestions. OPNI is currently a real-time streaming solution built on novel AI algorithms. We use Elasticsearch and Kibana to visualize the OPNI dashboard. How does it differentiate from existing AI ops tools? Well, for OPNI, uh, you as the operator do not need to have any knowledge of AI or machine learning. Unlike some of our competitors in which you need a data, in which you need a data scientist or a machine learning engineer to come in and configure your AI models, OPNI features a single command install and simple, which is very simple to use. And Amartya will actually go over that in a few moments. OPNI does not require high volume of logs to get started. Its AI models automatically adapt and learn from changes within your system. It comes with specialized out-of-the-box models focused on Kubernetes control plane data. Lastly, OPNI is open source like many of the other Rancher products. When it comes to installing OPNI, it is a very simple process using OPNI CTL, which is a one-line command installer. All you need to do on your end is to run in the terminal OPNI CTL install. However, if you would like any additional information for which parameters can be set during the installation, simply run OPNI CTL install dash dash help. For shipping logs over to the OPNI cluster, the easiest way is to use Rancher logging. However, you can use any tool, whether it be FluentD or FluentBit to ship over the logs to OPNI. So what do I have to do to set this up? I'll retrieve the endpoint of the OPNI service and point Rancher logging or whichever tool I've chosen to use to that endpoint. Additionally, it is also worth mentioning that down the road, we plan to build connectors to large monitoring services such as Datadog and Splunk. OPNI's log anomaly detection model leverages multiple cutting edge machine learning and deep learning algorithms. And here I'm going to highlight two of them. First is Drain. It's a machine learning method that, that learn log templates from incoming log messages. It's a super lightweight model with lightning fast speed, and it can learn in a real time fashion. It detects the changes in environment and help retrain our deep learning model. Second, new log. It's a deep learning method that learns semantic contextual information from logs. Although it's a heavyweight model, it provides state-of-the-art accuracy and offers capability to handle large amounts of data and also provide robust predictions. By taking the advantages of these different methods, OPNI is able to offer fast, accurate, and robust model for log anomaly detection task. Now we will show how to install OPNI using OPNI CTL. After, we will show how an operator would use OPNI by simulating two faults. Now let's look at, at an actual example where I'll be using the terminal to install OPNI using OPNI CTL. So if you remember from the slide, first I'm just going to run OPNI CTL install dash dash help. That simply just tells me all the possible parameters that can be set. In this case, I'm going to provide a cube config file and a path. So let's do that right now. And there, I should be installing this started. And it is finished literally in a matter of seconds from when I ran this command, it has already installed Opti. So it is extremely easy to use Opti CTL to get started and you have Opti set up already. All right, this is the Opti dashboard where an operator can consume insights on their log messages as if it were a metric. It is built on top of the Kibana that comes with open distro Elasticsearch. The Opti dashboard comes preset with four panels. The operator can get a bird's eye view on what's going on with the logs of their clusters. We will explore each of these panels in just a bit. Before then, I'd like to explain what has been set up for this demo. We have three nodes dedicated to the control plane and etcd, and three worker nodes for all workloads. For this demo, we have deployed a frequently referenced microservices application named SockShop. SockShop is an e-commerce application that sells socks. It is intended to aid the demonstration and testing of microservice and cloud native technologies. We will use it to demo the abilities of Opni. This is the architecture of the SockShop application. 
for our purposes, we've deployed the application about an hour ago and traffic is being sent to this application with a simulation engine that mimics real user interactions. This in turn generates a fair amount of log messages as we can see more than 6,000 logs in the last 15 minutes. Let us now inject two separate failures. The first one will be that we take down etcd in one of the nodes. The second one will be that we overfill the orders DB that will result in an out of memory DB crash and a subsequent restart. At this point, I'm going to inject both failures. Okay, I've injected both failures. Both of them are trivial, but these are the types of failures that typically appear before a major system outage. Being aware of these in real time gives operators the insight to prevent major outages. If you don't have OPNI and your metrics dashboard did not catch the failures we injected, you'd have no idea something was brewing in your system. There's no reason for operators to visit their logs unless they really need to, which leaves a massive blind spot. This is where OPNI steps in and provides insights to what subset of logs amongst thousands, if not millions, should the operator focus on. So if we did not have OPNI and we only had this discovery dashboard that comes with most log management solutions, we'd have no idea what to investigate, what logs are anomalous, which, which ones are normal. We, we would have no idea. So if we go to the OPNI dashboard, it's indicating that there was a huge spike in suspicious and anomalous logs. There are three tiers of logs, normal logs that represent the steady state, suspicious logs that can be helpful to look at during outages, and anomalous logs that should be taken a look at in abnormal conditions like the two that we've just injected. The top right panel tells us the distribution of control plane anomalies to workload anomalies. Given the two failures we just injected, there are more than 20 times the number of control plane anomalies as there are workload anomalies. So we can't really see the workload plot, but it is there. The bottom left panel focuses on etcd and control plane logs that the operator would be interested in. If we take a quick look, it is clear that this particular IP address can't be hit in the API server. And we can see that the etcd components are also complaining about the same IP address, which means the other etcd components cannot reach the third etcd component at this IP address. So if we copy paste this in our rancher server, we see that this IP address belongs to etcd running on this node. If I were the operator, I would log into that node and further investigate what's going on. The other failure that we injected is the database failure. So if we look at, at this bottom right panel, which focuses on workload logs that the operator should investigate, we see that there's already a bunch of Mongo related issues. So we see that there's connections that are being opened, new inbound connections. And if we keep scrolling down, we see available memory is less than system memory. This tells us, hey, like this, something ran out of memory. If we further expand this, we can figure out which host this, this log message belongs to. And we see that it belongs to orders DB. We see more Mongo related issues. So if I were the operator, I would probably look into orders and orders DB, those two services, because that's what OPNI is indicating to us. OPNI is meant to leverage AI with all the data that your cluster produces. Why not take advantage? You can even hook up OPNI to Slack and email so you can get alerted when to head over to the dashboard and investigate what OPNI found to be anomalous. This is an example of an alert that came through Slack from OPNI just a minute ago. Thank you for attending. Visit opni.io, star the repository, and follow as we build out our AI ops solution. Mm -hmm.